former National Security Advisor to the Vice President, uh, John Hanna. Uh, he worked with uh, Dick Cheney. John, where is this going? Well, it's right now going toward escalation, Neil. Whether or not the U.S. is going to uh, trigger a, a military response to this is unclear because the president clearly doesn't want to face a, a war going into, into an election campaign. But this is not the first incident we've had with Iran. There are now uh, up to six incidents that have happened that are uh, linked to Iranian-backed militias or Iranian-backed elements that are clearly trying to destabilize markets, generate crisis, and get the U.S. to back off these economic sanctions that are absolutely cr uh, crippling the Iranian economy. You know, we're getting other reports, as I'm speaking to you, John, and this is from U.S. officials talking to Fox News, that four tugboats contracted to pull uh, the Norwegian-owned tank at Front Altair, uh, one of the two tankers da damaged in this attack, have been prevented from doing so by Iranian gunboats that have surrounded this stricken tanker and so to your point it, it could be escalating um that's almost going to have to prompt an international response what would it be well uh, listen that the highest end of this is obviously to send some of those iranian boats to the bottom of the uh of, of the gulf there um and hope that that then contains and deters the iranians and backs them off because the last thing they need is a force on force confrontation with the united states navy that's that's a suicide mission for for the iranian military their hope and their skill set is in that gray zone actions uh short of war that impose real costs and pressure on the United States and the international community in the hopes that we're we're more afraid of war than they are and that we'll back off. And, and the Trump administration just has got to keep its foot on the pedal, has got to stay steady, got to stay resolved, and, and importantly, get our allies in Europe and, and most importantly in the American Congress, the American people behind us to develop a credible case about why we need to be opposing and confronting Iranian aggression here. All right. John Hanna, we'll watch it closely. Good catching up with you. Thanks, Neil.